Hello, 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 everybody. It's your man, Jay Takashi, guys. I'm here to bring you another episode, quote unquote, review slash thoughts on Isekai, sorry, Cheat Skill, Wo Tenishita Orewa, episode six, titled Water Style Magic, <clears throat> is what I called it. So, guys, like I said, there's a lot to get into. I'm going to try to make it short brief you know how it is all right <clears throat> so okay so first of all we literally we literally continue where we left off last episode where you was in the quote-unquote underground cave and found it and found uh this quote-unquote magical book created by a quote-unquote sage and um through him you are holding it and actually reading it he's actually hearing the voice of the person who who uh wrote it and the pretty much the he he's imbued with uh, the magical letters fly off the uh, off the book or quote unquote I guess you can say grimoire if you want to say that and it goes through him and grants him the ability to use magic now and um so so we literally so you is granted magic and um he sorry about the gas and he is quote unquote practicing it in his his area you know his little house area <laughs> I was I was going to say it I'll just say his house. Him, him and his pet, they literally using water magic. <laughs> and got through the curtain from because like the bubble had appeared above his pet, particularly uh, Naito. But uh, after quote unquote after that, we literally have uh, Yuya. Or I'm sorry, we literally have quote unquote the king from the from the from the Isekai world. Uh, have him, you know, be told that. Uh, the guy, the man that saved his daughter, you know, he'll see plans on meeting him, things and like that. And also that he also got, got, uh, passed by to him that, you know, uh, <laughs> his daughter's in love with quote unquote Yuya. And, you know, you know how dads are, royal dads, anyway, they go crazy. Like, you know, my daughter, like, who does the guy think he is? Nonsense. And then they like really hiding in the corner, which is freaking hilarious, by the way. He was like, yo, this is why I don't like this family. This family's too hyperbolic and get crazy. Which he's right, but um, in this episode, guys, uh, in the human part side in his world, Yuya's world, Yuya is. Uh, we are introduced to a new character, and her name is uh, Ren Kazaki, and uh, she's a part of the group. Yuya is going to be uh, during a certain trip that he's got. That he's got a plan to prep for. Now Yuya doesn't have a bag, and you literally and you literally have his guy friends. Uh, Kaori, Ren, and Kaede actually go to go, go to the shopping mall in order to, you know, pick up on a few items, but also to help Yuya actually get his, you know, get his equipment, things that he'll need for the trip in his group. So, you know, they spend a good, so, so they spend a grand, a grand, ah, sorry guys, I got a tongue tied. A grand deal's time at the mall, and, uh, you know, Yuya actually uh, wins them prizes at that quote-unquote game, you all know, where you actually use a claw, drop, drop down and get an item. He manages to get it all a prize for the for his friends, and um, afterwards they split up, and you know the, the girls the girls go to the area to go get something, uh, the girl girl store department, and the guys just literally go down to go get some uh, coffee to chill in a cafe, uh, and uh, and little to a little bit later, a fire actually ensues. 
and on the floor that the ladies are on. <clears throat> and you pretty much have uh, Yuya go in, defy, defy the orders of the store clerks, and literally go in to um, save, the, save the ladies. And um, this is where the title called Water Style Magic comes in. So Yuya uses his water magic, his water style jutsu magic, and coats it around his entire body. It's work. So he, it's like he's covered in it, and he runs through the whole. He runs through the whole fire. Uh, he runs through the whole floor encased in fire to uh, to uh, locate. To, yeah, to locate uh, the girls. He finds them. He picks all three of them up, chat very chat like style, and he coats them. And and guys, I will watch the episode a couple times. It looks like it, it looks like he he coated them with his magic too. Similar to the Flash, when he ever picks up a person when he had, when he has the speed force, he extends it to them by, by touching them and picking them up. You know, when he's carrying a ring with him. So yeah, you did that, and he realized the floor is about to end. Kate, you know, there's no way for him to go because the flames are too great. So what he does, he kicks his, he literally steps like steps on the floor, creates enough pressure with his uh, enough with physical strength and his water in order to last down to the. To, my bad to blast through the floors to get to the first floor like I guess to the front yeah first floor and he ends up saving the girls <clears throat> uh, Kaori Ren and Kaide and uh, you know he apologized to the firefighters like I'm sorry and listen things like that and also it's just like I said you know another you know another day in the heroics of Yuya but um, I want to say this I think and then it pretty much this, the episode ends with him going home. So I want to say this episode was very entertaining to see Yuya actually learn magic for the first time. And also using, especially water style. Water style, water style is one of my favorite. Water magic is one of my favorites. And um, him coding it in armor I thought was genius. It's really showing you how, how well he's progressing uh, throughout the series. Like I said, not just character wise. I'm talking about like the equipment and getting magic finally. But um... Here's also guys, there's a important part to talk about part of the episode. So we literally in on a cliffhanger to where there's this sacred rabbit beast. We look you might very reminiscent of I, I got reminded of Alice in the Wonderland when it came to this. And he's literally he's literally uh I've been approached by a girl who seems to be uh an avatar of destruction. And uh he talks and he talks about like, you know, I'm a sacred beast, quote unquote, what are you doing? And it's just like, you know, the whole this whole world will be destroyed is what she says. And we let it end off there where him saying, I need to find somebody to teach or teach my technique to someone. Which is probably one of the best cliffhangers I, I saw. I was like, okay, I really want to know what's going to happen now. It looks, it looks very interesting. So overall, this episode was a solid eight for me. Um, like I said, more character interaction, progression of magic. You finally got it. And also... Um, just a, a, a really cool cliffhanger. So, with that being said, guys, this has been your this has been Jay Takashi. If you're new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. As always, check out the content that always helps me. Spread it around if you're if you love if you love uh, anime content to other people who love this type of stuff. All that jazz. And you know how it is, guys. Drink some water, drink some green tea, and exercise. And peace out.